God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The word of God that I've chosen to share with you this morning is taken from the second scripture reading that Pastor Welmer just read for you. I share with you today at verse 15. Be careful how you walk. Make the most of every opportunity. Become a thankful person as you're filled with the Holy Spirit. This is the Word of God before us this morning. Please be seated. You know, many people spend their lives searching for happiness, don't they? There was a young man who was leaving home and he said to his father, Dad, I'm leaving home because I want to go and find some excitement in my life. And don't try to stop me. And his father said, don't worry, I won't try to stop you. I want to go with you. There are a lot of people like that father and his son, aren't there? There are a lot of people searching and searching for happiness in their lives. But ironically, sometimes when people search for happiness and they find what they think looks like happiness, they find it doesn't bring them any happiness at all. And we see that very clearly in the example of King Solomon in the book of Ecclesiastes in the Bible. King Solomon, he was searching for happiness in his life. And first, he tried to find happiness in intellectual thinking. He tried to become as wise as he could be. Then, he tried to find some happiness in the pleasures of life. He tried to have all the fun he could to bring happiness into his life. And then he tried to find happiness in the riches of life. He tried to become as wealthy as he could to be happy. And then he tried to find happiness in the sexual pursuits of life. The Bible tells us that King Solomon had over 1,000 wives and mistresses. But in trying all of these things, King Solomon never found the happiness he was looking for. And so King Solomon said, meaningless, meaningless. Everything is meaningless. I hated all of these things. What a sad and miserable man King Solomon was. He seemed to have everything going for him, right? I mean, he was king. And yet, he was not happy at all. Obviously, something was missing in his life. What was it? Well, in the word of God before us today, the Apostle Paul found those, this same kind of emptiness in the people in the church in the city of Ephesus. The people in that church, they were not happy with their lives. They were not finding any joy at all in their lives. And so the Apostle Paul told them how they could find happiness. Paul said to them, be careful how you live. Make the most of every opportunity. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Always giving thanks to God. Paul gave to those people in the church of Ephesus, just like he's giving to you and me today, two keys to finding happiness in our lives. First of all, Paul says to be careful how you live. Paul is saying that we should be smart in the way we live our lives here on this earth. Now that's really simple advice, isn't it? God is encouraging us today not to be foolish in our lives. We shouldn't be putting substances into our bodies that are harmful to us. We shouldn't be doing risky things that are going to be harmful to our health or to our marriages or to our communities. There was a man who was watching the movie entitled New Jack City. And in this movie, there's a scene in which the main character is being offered some illegal drugs. And this man, he jumps up right in the theater and he shouts out, just say no, man, just say no. Well, 
That's pretty good advice, isn't it? Just say no. If there are some things that are trying to keep you away from living your Christian life, just say no. Now, it's not really very easy to do this, is it? It's not easy at all. There were some con men in New York City who were trying to play on people's desire to want to get rich from doing nothing, to want to get something from nothing. And so what these con men did is they got some boxes, some cardboard boxes, they got some tape, and they got some shopping bags that they stole from the Macy's store. What they did is they put some newspaper in these boxes, taped them up, and then put the boxes in the bags that they stole from the Macy's store. And then they went out on a busy street corner in New York City. And as people would come up and stop at the red light, they would walk out and they would say to the driver, hey, I've got a nice new iPhone here in this bag, and you can have it for $90. Most of the drivers wouldn't accept that, and they said, no thanks. But then just as the light was getting ready to turn green, they would say to them, okay, I'll make you a deal. I'll give it to you for half price, just $45. And surprisingly, many of those drivers paid the $45 to get that Macy's bag. They were so excited to try to get something for nothing. And how, you, how imagine you can, they were when they were, how upset they got when later they opened up the box and found it was filled with newspaper. Look out for things in your life that seem you get for nothing. There's a lot of sin and evil in our world today, isn't there? And there are a lot of people who will try to take advantage of you. So be careful how you live. Be smart. It's the, one of the keys to finding happiness in your life. Then the Apostle Paul gave us another key to happiness in our lives. Paul says today, continually give thanks to God. Many of you watch that movie, White Christmas, during the Christmas season, don't you? It's a great movie. In this movie, Bing Crosby sings another song in addition to the main song of White Christmas. And this song goes like this. When I am troubled and cannot sleep, I count my blessings instead of sheep, and I fall asleep counting my blessings. I love that little song. It is so simple. And yet the happiest people I know are people who are thankful in their lives. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're the most wealthy people. It doesn't mean that they're, they got perfect health. It doesn't mean that their children are all very successful. But what it does mean is that they have learned to say thank you in their lives. A young Australian mother named Haley Bartholomew was very depressed in her life. She didn't feel any joy at all in her life. She went to the pastor of her church, and she asked her pastor what she can do. The pastor suggested that every day she think of something to be thankful for. Well, Haley followed her pastor's advice. She decided to start her own little program called 365 Grateful. And every day she would write down something for which she was thankful. It changed her life. For example, Haley always thought her husband was not very romantic. And one day, after they had a meal together, she watched as her husband went to bring some dessert to the table. And she noticed that her husband gave her the biggest piece. It was his way of showing his affection for his wife. Haley gave thanks for her husband that day. Another example, Haley was getting very, well, bored and frustrated with her two little children. One day she took them to the park, 
She sat down on the bench and watched them, and she watched their little smiles and their innocent laughter. And Haley thanked God for the gift of her children. By becoming a thankful person, it helped to change Haley's life. Try that in your life. Think of something to be thankful for every day. That was missing in King Solomon's life years ago. It was missing in the lives of the people in the church of Ephesus years ago. Like so many people, they were not thankful in their lives. They weren't thinking about all the blessings that they had from God. And you and I dare never forget the greatest blessings that we actually have. You have the blessings of forgiveness of your sins and the gift of eternal life in heaven. Never forget that. Jesus died on a cross and rose from the dead so you could have those blessings of forgiveness and eternal life in heaven. Those are the greatest blessings we all have. Through the Apostle Paul here today, God gives us some simple keys to finding happiness in our lives. Be careful how you live and become a thankful person. I know some of you here today are feeling rather depressed. I know you're not seeing a whole lot of joy and happiness in your lives. God has given you some help today. Try his advice. Be a little more careful in how you live and become a more thankful person. It'll make a difference in your life. You will find the happiness that you're looking for. God bless you. Amen. Let's now stand and join together in the next song of prayer.